for the lactate analyzer. The main purpose of providing labs for a lot of our courses are to, it's really putting theory into practice or application. It's applying what you learn in the classroom into actual situations. It's a lot better than reading a piece of paper. Getting to see it is a lot easier to retain and understand what's going on. I think it's absolutely necessary for making you really fully understand what you're doing and not just reading it. There are a couple students that, you know, during lab they go, oh, and that right there, that's, that's the light bulb. So what we need, Tommy, is you to get up to 70. Okay, and that's what we're gonna have you maintain. It's a max test, so it's an exercise test pretty much uh, designed to push somebody to their to their ultimate level of exhaustion. So right now, this is the warm-up phase. It was a little bit exhausting, I think. <laughs> we measured blood lactate levels in our subject and also their heart rate and percent O2 saturation. When you draw this back, and then all I will do is I'll put it on the finger, that's it. It was their way to actually see some of the concepts, again, that we were talking about during class and when this actually occurs during exercise. It helps you learn the, the physiology of the body and what it's capable of and, and how hard it can be pushed. Go. Done. Today we're doing a lab in physiology where we're doing forced uh, expiratory volume. Go. Deep, faster, faster, faster. What we were looking at is what happens with individuals that have some type of limitation, um, perhaps claiming to have asthma. What test would you actually perform to see if that patient or client truly has asthma? And go, as deep and as fast as you can. In these labs, you use many different techniques and things that you learn about also in class and in the books, but it just, it helps a lot. This is what happens during exercise. To understand exactly how it works, how to perhaps set up for it, and how to actually run that piece of equipment, that's huge. It really uh, helps connect, you know, the lectures as to what he was saying with the actual results. It's just really good to have hands-on learning. You don't get that when you're just sitting in class listening to the professor lecture. It's truly an inclusive lab. That's like one of my favorite things about ODU. I think that if I went to a bigger university, I might not have this opportunity. It just helps us develop a relationship with our professors and then with us as well. The smaller classrooms help dictate that uh, hands-on experience that we get.